Hi friends, this is Jitendra Bapna. Today we will going to see GMS connector with Mule Shop. So basically, what is GMS? GMS is a Java messaging service which is mostly used by APIs to communicate with the exchange of messages. So GMS is uh, GMS connector is used to receive or send messages to the GMS. Okay. So they are put a uh, uh, there are two ways in which we can subscribe and publish messages to the GMS. One is Q and other is Topic. Q is known as point-to-point -point communication and also it is known as one-to-one uh, -one communication. So basically, uh, when somebody publish a message into GMS Q, so one su subscriber can keep that message from the Q. Okay, and whenever uh, message has been published to the GMS Q, okay, it is not or it is not necessary that subscriber has to actively listen to the GMS Q. Okay, now what is a topic? Topic is basically known as one to many communication. It is also known as public subscribe model. So basically, one okay, uh, one message has been published to the Q. It can be picked by the multiple receiver or multiple subscriber. So I will give one example here. Uh, one thing like not example uh, uh, one more thing like if message has been published to the queue all the subscriber or all the receiver has to be actively listening to the queue otherwise they will miss the message so we will going to see a demo on that so what we will do we will create a new application file new new mule project Okay, I will say GMS demo Q. Okay, so I will select uh, runtime as a 3.8.3. Uh, I will keep all settings as a default. I am not going to check anything. So simply I will click on finish. Okay, so it has created the application for us. So now what I will do, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into the canvas region. I will configure it. Let me click on the add button. Okay, uh, I will kill, keep all the setting as the default. I am not going to change anything. I will simply press on OK. I will give a path as a JMS. I will going to use arrow method equal to post. Now I will drag and drop logger into the message processor region. Just uh, you will see the payload. Okay. Now finally I will going to drag and drop GMS connector into the message processor where we have to send the message. So we will select the uh, first queue. So in my case I will give a queue name. I have a AP essential okay i will go to connector contact uh, if you want to select topic you can do that so but out of these two we can select one at a time uh, exchange pattern i will keep one way it is possible for request response also i will do the connector configuration i will select there are various jms uh, wmq wmq sa jms web logic as jms custom jms i will select Active, active MQ. So I have URL for that. So this is my GMS URL. I will going to paste it in the broker URL. So we have a specification version 1.0.2. In my case, I will select version 1.1. I don't have any username password. So if you have any username password, you can put the username password. I will say OK. I will just click. Now I will deploy the run the project. So once you run the project, you will find some error. Okay, you will see some error. So I will show you how to solve that error also. Let's wait till application deploy.
Let's see who's going to play. Let me stop and run again. Sometimes it's take time, but generally it shouldn't take that much of time. Till application get deployed, so I have to do some configuration. I will keep my Postman ready for testing. I want to show you something till our application deployed. It will give some error. So I will show that what is the error. I want to show that error. Just give me a second. Uh, let's see, like we have to add this uh, active and to jar into the solution. I will show you why we want to know. See, it was saying like active and to some connection issue. It was saying Java dot length class not found. So basically, it was looking for some class uh, connection factory. So for connecting the GMS, GM to GMS MQ. So what we can do, we can right click on the application. Okay, we will go to build path. Let me check where is the build path. Build path. This is my build path. Okay. I will click configure build path. Okay. I will go in the libraries. I will say add external libraries. So just pick the library active empty library jar file. So in my case, it was at this path under jars and this is my file active mq jar i will simply select ok ok i will stop the application i will try to run it again Let's wait till the application get deployed. Okay, now application is deployed. I forget one thing, so let me add set payload. So at the end of the, I have to send some message to the client. So I will say message it has been sent to you. Okay, I will save it so it can deploy the application again. It has been deployed. I will just send. So it show me that message has been sent to you. I will say more. Okay. So you can see from here. Okay. So this is how you can send the message to the GMS queue. Now we will uh, see how we can read the message from GMS queue. Okay, I will remove all this component. Okay, I will drag and drop this component here. I will say set payload. Uh, okay, let uh, I will say uh, instead of that, I will use logger. No need to set payload in pair. So I can see message from you. Okay, let me check everything. Okay, we have to keep everything same. Like okay, this is the all same settings, all same specification. Now what is the difference? Instead of using the GMS connector in the message uh, processes region, we will use them in messages source region. Let me run the application. there is no message in it that's why we are not receiving otherwise we can receive more and more message so if there is any message in the queue it will pick by the ms okay so not a issue 
so this is how you can use the BMS connector as an inbound as well as an outbound okay thanks for watching video hope you enjoyed the video